What is up you guys, it's CDRK and I'm back at it again with another video and as you guys can tell from the title, this is a mini life update Q&A video. I was gonna install my wig on camera, but I feel like it was getting real ghetto and raunchy. And I don't really don't have a full setup yet because I'm still kind of like settling in my apartment. As you can see, I just have my couch and a couple of things going on, but so far so good. I can't wait to show you guys. First things first, shout out to Ali Pearl for their 13 by six, 24 inch brown straight wig. And also the wig, the lace is HD. The only thing I could say is that sometimes when I deal with HD, it feels like I'm still kind of dealing with transparent. Um, I still have to go back a little bit and put my foundation on it. But overall, the wig was super, super easy to deal with. It's so soft. I didn't put no product in it. I didn't even, when I hot combed it, all I did was just hot comb it. I didn't put no like, um, there's no wax stick. I just sprayed the top with um, some got to be and I just placed it down for the flyaways. Um, this hair does not really shed like that. The only time it shed, obviously, is when I pluck the hair. But it's super nice. Like, it's super natural. Looks super natural, super melted. I love it. I love this color. It's super bomb. I really wanted to go with a brown. Um, I feel like it looks so natural. It's giving Naomi Campbell kind of vibe. Like, it's just so... Also layered her a little bit just so the curls won't fall as quicker. And I love it. It's super cute and super natural. I love it. So yeah, shout out to Ali Pearl again. Make sure you shop with them. I'll link everything down below. And let's just jump right into the... Oh, itch my nose. I'm not picking my nose. Let's just jump right into the question. First question is, um, tips on apartment hunting. Now, I'm not going to lie. I It's kind of hard for me to kind of like give tips because... Um, I just feel like I moved so quickly, even though I did have this apartment in my back pocket, I kind of just went off of like impulse with a lot of things um, because not only did I have to, but I also really wanted this place. But one thing I could say um, is make sure you like the area that you're in. When I, when I was looking for my apartment, I was looking for a place more modern. I don't really like half the apartments that they have in LA because it looks a little bit older and I was like I don't want nothing older I really want something modern I want to feel comfortable coming home so I had to think about all of that like I gave myself an idea of what or like how I wanted to live and I just wanted to live very comfortable neighbors are super chill um, I don't really have that many neighbors here because this place is new but one thing I could just say just give yourself map out an idea of what area you're trying to live in and make sure you have your options open um, when I was looking for this place, I definitely had three other places just in case. Um, but this is what I really wanted. Like, this is really what I really wanted. So, just make sure you keep your options open because you never know what um, will happen. At the end of the day, this is your space. This is your sanity. So, you want to make sure you're getting something that you'll know you'll love in the long run. And I can honestly say I love this place. How did you become the amazing hairstylist you are today? Honestly, could say... No, I always found myself planning my hair. I've always found myself getting my hair silky bone straight. I've always loved hair. I've always loved hair. I would watch videos on how to curl your hair and stuff like that. That's how I kind of started, but I never was into like wigs and weaves and stuff like that. Like I would do sew-ins, but I was only so limited. So I would do braids a lot, but I always found myself like doing different styles with my braids or reviving my, my sew-ins. So when I was working at Dollar General, I decided to do hair as a side hustle. I started doing braids and sew-ins and shout out to my friends back then because they were so supportive of me. And then I was charging only like 75, 85, 95, like stuff like that for braids and sew-ins. And now it's like the prices went up, babe. Like even not even just with me, with other hairstylists, like sew-ins and braids and all that shit, that is not no $75, $85 job. But I was still an amateur, so I didn't want to price it. And, you know, my prices was, my work wasn't added up. But yeah, I always loved to do hair. Um, I really started to get into being a hairstylist when I was living here. You know, my ex-best friend, um, she basically, she believed in my craft more than I did. Like, one thing I can say about that girl, she definitely believed in my craft more than me. Like, she believed that I could be the the best, the, the next upcoming hairstylist. And I didn't fully believe it until I started doing it. So she was like, you know what, just to start installing my hair and posting it. So I started installing her hair and I started posting content 
and from then on it was up from there because if it wasn't for her i wouldn't be the hairstylist that i am today and i wouldn't be able to get the things that i can get because i'm a hairstylist today okay period <laughs> how's business going business is going really really good um i'm super blessed to have you know loyal clients that come to me all the time it just gets very very overwhelming because i want to i always want to make sure that i'm a reliable hairstylist for my clients but they Sometimes some people don't really care. Clients really are inconsiderate. I'm not gonna lie. Like I love each and every one of my clients, but there are clients that like don't give a fuck. Like your toe could be broken and you need to amputate it. And these girls are like, well, I need my hair done. Like well, I have to remember that I am still a human being. I still have to take care of myself, keep up with myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? I still have to find balance in that. But overall, business is doing really good. I just gotta find that balance. So when I see why don't I start like webinars and classes, I actually am going to start one-on-ones in Los Angeles and also every other place. I'm going to start traveling. I actually add that in my website very soon. Really, really soon. <laughs> How does it feel to live alone? I'm actually a naturally born loner. Like I could actually hang out by myself, do things by myself, be by myself. I love it. So it didn't really take that long for me to like readjust living alone. At times it's weird like coming home and nobody's home, <laughs> but then again, I'm super happy. I couldn't I couldn't ask for it any other way. I absolutely love just walking around naked with my cornrows hanging out and not having to worry about somebody knocking on my door or walking in on me. And I highly, highly, highly recommend you living on your own, living by yourself. If you are in that position to do so, do it. How do you deal with drama? <laughs> uh, I don't deal with drama. I don't argue with people. I don't care to do that. I'm not really a confrontational person. So I kind of just try to shut it out as much as possible because drama is just a waste of time. You could put that energy into being a better person and bettering yourself and elevation. Why waste it? Why waste time on drama when you could be out here elevating? I don't think it's that serious. Um, I'm just not a. I hate drama. I rather just not deal with it. But that's just what it is. Drama be falling with certain people, and I don't know how, but. I just don't care. Do you like living in LA? Um, for the most part, yes, I do. I've met a lot of dope people and also I'm doing something that I absolutely love. I feel like I started something and I want to finish it. So LA has a lot of different places that you can go randomly and enjoy the hell out of it. I love sightseeing. So LA is the perfect place. Like LA is a perfect place for me until I venture off and go somewhere else. And I'm not sure where I will go, but I low-key don't want to be in the United States. I'm going to just say that right now. And I'm going to manifest this because you never know. Um, but I don't see myself living in the United States um, after L.A. So I'm going to give L.A. probably like another two years. And then I'm going to be out of the U.S. <laughs> Straight up. Last but not least, because I kind of want to cut this video a little bit short because I just don't want to dwell on certain things. And I kind of have to go. So, um yeah the question that you guys have been asking and been wanting to know dragged about it um <laughs> this song is being made about me like it's just a whole the whole nine and i feel like long story short with that part i just feel like it's being dragged it's being super super dragged and it's kind of like forcing my hand in the way of just saying what i have to say and moving on and you guys can definitely just Whatever you guys take from it is whatever y'all take from it. Long story short, me and Abby are no longer friends anymore. Yes, she already done stated it, but I'm going to say it out of my mouth. No, we're no longer friends anymore. Um, I do not see myself rekindling a friendship. Um, it's, I still have a lot of love for her. I pray that she's taking care of herself, finding herself, um, because that was the main thing of it all. It was just her losing herself. I was losing myself. Um, the best thing that we could have done was separate. One thing about me, I suck, and I can say it today, I suck at communicating. I suck at expressing my emotions. I kind of let things bottle up. I wish I was that person. I wish I was more open instead of letting my emotions bottle up to the point where one little thing takes me off and I'm it's up from there, you know? Hey, what was going on around us was not only draining me, it was draining her, it was draining the people that, the other people that was staying with us. It was a lot of stuff that I personally don't want to say because it's super personal, especially on her, on her end. I'll let her be the one to speak on that, especially with the person she was dealing with. You know, each other since high school, but at the end of the day, people fall out all the time um personally respectfully i don't like the way she's going about it but 
that is it is what it is. if she's going about is making her feel better and sleep better at night then so be it but i'm just not gonna be that girl and y'all not gonna get that out of me i just been super quiet about it because i just felt like for me personally i didn't want i'm not about to go on social media about it i'm not about to sit here and drag it it's been getting dragged and i've been completely quiet about it oh well you're quiet about it because you're scared to get exposed do it <laughs> i don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck because at the end of the day i know my truth i know what kind of person i am i know i was never a bad friend and everything that i've done for my friend i would never ever sit here and tell you guys because at the end of the day that was my fucking friend like what do y'all want me to do um long story short people fall out all the time like i said i wish you know things could have ended differently but regardless of whatever we live in two different lives we're two different people we've always been two different people for years i don't know why you guys trying to like attach us to be the same person when we're literally two different people it was never no jealousy it was never no i was never envious of anybody if you have it that's you i don't want nothing that you have like it, it's never been a jealousy or envious it was never that like <laughs> a lot of people like oh when well, you act like you don't care and it's not like i didn't act like i didn't care i was just personally drained and i feel like once i say something one good time it's like what's the point of re repeating it you 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 heard it you understood it and you still went on your merry way it has to it has to get taken to this because Clearly, on the other party, it's not being handled the way it should. Can't tell her how to handle it. She's a grown-ass woman. She's doing her damn thing. I don't want to bash her or nothing like that, even though the situation was fucked up, and it did drain me as a person and as a friend. Um, but, yeah, overall, hopefully this answers y'all questions. There's no bad blood. There's no bad blood on this end. Um, it's all love and just wishing well and hoping that she's okay. She's good mentally and just finding herself. And I just hope she's around the right people and making the right decisions. And yeah, y'all, um, that's pretty much it. I'm still hanging out. I'm still in LA. I'm still here. I'm still doing a damn thing. Um, nobody's stopping nothing. Nobody's taking nothing from me unless you're God. I don't fear nothing. You guys get this wig from Ali Pearl because the girls... The girls is giving, okay? The girl is giving what it's supposed to be. Giving is giving. What? Okay. But yeah, God bless all y'all. Stay blessed. Stay true to yourself. And I'll see you guys in my next video.